Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and uh, I'm going to show off a little bit of Snow Job on the 3DO. <clears throat> as long as I can skip past the intro. It's, uh, it's pretty much a point-and-click adventure game with FMV cutscenes, and uh, it's timed. You can slow the time down. This is the song you'll hear a million times over. Let's load my game up. I'm on Wednesday. It's like a seven day week, the game. Okay. So, here's a little icon. You can either look at stuff. This sofa. A little lumpy but serviceable. You can push the L button and talk to people, you pick up things or use them. Um, every morning you're supposed to this is Wednesday, so let's uh let's go do this real quick. And I think the C button is your inventory and the B button I think cancels things. So I'm a little bit into the game right now, so you're gonna see think items that you're like, what the hell is that? But <clears throat> let's go to the map. And every morning you're supposed to go to the newspaper kiosk by taking a cab. Um, two main things in the game you have to watch out for are the time. You can slow the time down in the options, um, which is what I did, and also the money. You have to uh, kind of be cheap with your money. So then, what you're supposed to do is I bought the newspaper, and every new day in the game, you're supposed to read the newspaper, and Beth is sitting here with me, so maybe she could help. The she... officials warn. No, skip, skip. Central Park. Suspect. Um, the main point of the game is you are a detective, and you're trying to stop this plot um, to that they're trying to kill your girlfriend. These gang members. That's the gist of it. So every day you're supposed to buy the the newspaper. It's like a main plot point, but you can look up online what the thing is, the codes, and you're supposed to do the, the newspaper, the crossword puzzle, every day. Um, which is kind of boring to me. I'm not a big crossword fan. So, Beth, across, something to do. That's so general. I don't know. I don't know either. See, so you do this every morning. Then you have to go to the computer at your friend's house, back where I was. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Um, the graphics are pretty decent. You know, they're a little blurry, but it's kind of what you expect for old compressed FMV. Let's go back to your friend's house. Uh, the audio file is pretty good, you know, the audio sounds alright. And um, it's cheesy, it's fun, but it's kind of... I used the word archaic last time when I talked about picking this game up. It kind of is. It's like, since you're timed and you need to ha like, have inventory management, if you don't do everything you're supposed to in one day, you miss out on all the clues and all the things you're supposed to figure out. And then I don't know if you can beat the game. It's almost like trial and error-ish. Let's go on the computer here. I'll walk over here first. I talked to him before and the game crashed. Let's see if it crashes on me again. That'd be great. Well, I got nothing new for you, John. <laughs> How's it going on the streets? Didn't crash. Okay, so <clears throat> use a computer. And let's see here. You're supposed to um, go to a website, let's see here, 
that you have to do this every morning. I like that it makes a, a typewriter sound instead of a computer. LongIslandSound.org, which is funny because I live in Long Island. So you go here, you go to special messages, and you're going to intercept like secret messages about what they're going to do next to try and murder your girlfriend or whatever. Um, I'm going to just look up the, the code instead of doing that crossword puzzle. Let's see here, I'm on Wednesday. Okay, it looks like the code for this one is task. So now if you don't get the messages every morning, you can't go where you're supposed to go next. You could print it out, or you can write it down on physical paper if you want to start taking notes. It seems like one of those games that you kind of do have to take notes. I'm actually using a walkthrough because it's just... I don't have the time to invest like the trial and error ways of figuring out what to do next. Um, so it says the next thing you're supposed to do, this is Wednesday, the game starts on I think Monday, is go to the computer store. It sort of reminds me of like Rise of the Dragon. Oh, it opens at 10 o'clock, and it's not 10 o'clock yet, so let's advance the time a little. In the options, you can slow the time down and advance it. Pretty bad music. So it says we have to buy some kind of random access memory. RAM sims on the wall. The only thing I would say is the D-pad is stiff, so it's kind of hard to, to be very precise. Where the hell's the memory? And things are kind of small on the screen, so it's a little difficult to discern what's what. There you go, Ramsom. See, how the hell would you know that was there? 400 bucks. This is the best I can do on that piece. Thanks. Nice doing business with you. Okay, and then it says something about you're supposed to get a page from some guy that I think had gotten killed or whatever. gist of the game. You go around, you watch FMV sequences, you get items, you use the items when you're supposed to, um, and you try and track down who it is that is trying to murder your girlfriend. It's cool, I like it, I thought I'd like it more, um, but it's so trial and error-ish and stuff, like if you go through the whole day and you don't do what you have to, I don't know if you can beat the game. God, because that's... Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know. It's annoying. I know. Jesus Christ. So in the game, there's a beeper you pick up. Now we have to check the beeper because it made an obnoxious noise. 4510. <clears throat> I'll 
show you a little bit of this and I'll stop. Everything costs money, so you really have to be like conservative with your cash. kind of got a, um, a hum to it. It's like not the best, you know, compression or whatever. I actually screwed up. I was supposed to uh, say so what, but I fucked up and hit yeah. Anyhow, this is the gist of the game. As I said, uh, it's pretty cool if you don't mind the old fashioned type of archaic gameplay. It's good. It's just, I don't know how someone would beat this without a walkthrough at this point because there's so much to do and you don't know what you need to do and what you don't need to do. But back then I would have been like floored by this so this is snow job on the 3do a game that you probably thought was pornographic which isn't thanks guys for watching it's vampire Mike from Sega CD universe be good <laughs>